ahead and do a back to school video and it'll be a what's in my backpack or school bag. I hope I can do more back to school stuff because I know a lot of you guys are asking for that. And these videos are really fun to do. So yeah, I hope you find this video helpful and let's get started. So uh, first off, before I begin, I just want to like put it out there. Most of the stuff I got here is from Amazon. I buy pretty much everything from Amazon just because they have so much stuff and for cheaper price and i actually just recently found out about this program for students so it was perfect timing for me to find out so i thought i'd share it with you guys because i had no idea about it at all and it's a really great thing called amazon student basically you get free two-day shipping as a college student on a bunch of items and then you get exclusive deals and promotions on things that you need you want and you like as a student also if you check out the amazon student um, Facebook page and snapchat and Instagram and Twitter they have exclusive giveaways and just a bunch of free stuff They have like contests and all that so I figured it'd be really helpful for all you students out there that are having to go through a lot of Budgeting and buying a whole bunch of stuff and you want to save money So I thought that'd be a cool thing to check out if you're interested be sure to check out the description below where I have all the details and the links to the Amazon student program so yeah. So first off obviously is my backpack and I actually usually like to use a purse but I recently bought this backpack and I might be using this and a purse depending on like my outfit and all that but I figured I'd show you this backpack because I really like it and it just looks like this and there's a lot of compartments like a zipper here and then there is a laptop compartment inside right here and then the main pockets, side pockets, and then a pocket here. So everything is very organized, which I really like when you're dealing with school stuff. So that way everything has its own place and everything just fits well. And I don't know, I feel better knowing everything's organized and that I have everything that I need. So this is from Urban Outfitters and I really like the charcoal gray. So that is my backpack. And then inside, so I'll start out with the kind of school supplies stuff. So first off is my laptop. This is the MacBook Pro from like 2012, so it's pretty old and um, it still works pretty well, but I use this for obviously for YouTube and then for my school stuff. I like to have this on hand just so if I need to look something up or type anything up or if I have some downtime, I can work on stuff on my own laptop so everything is on here. And so I got this case from Amazon and it's just a um, kind of faux marble case but I really like how sleek it looks. And then in the past I've actually always used folders like in high school but then the folders I'd have to keep replacing them because they'd always get like torn apart and stuff so I thought I'd give this a shot it's kind of like a binder but definitely not as heavy or bulky which is a great bonus because I don't like binders for that reason so it's just a five star flex so it's like a hybrid uh, note binder it says so I just got the white one and then it has like folders for different subjects and then um, these like folder inserts here and I like how you can put loose leaf paper in here I think it's really great to have loose leaf paper on hand just in case you need to just take out a piece of paper and do your stuff But have it in something like this so that way it doesn't get all crumpled and torn So all your papers will be able to have be one place But also not be all messed up and torn or at the bottom of your backpack I'm stuffing papers in random places so I hope that this works well because it seems like it would be a good idea, but yeah. <laughs> Next are just notebooks. I got these really simple um, wire notebooks. They were probably like 50 cents, I think. Called ruled, 70 sheet, one subject. So that way throughout the year, I can use one for one subject. And if I need extra, I can get like another. And then it's just really easy and simple. And I like the ones that have perforated pages so that way if you're doing work and you end up having to turn it or something, you can just tear it out instead of having the lab notebooks where you're kind of screwed. So um, I like these ones. I've tried using notebooks like these that don't have the wires and they end up breaking really, really easily because they fold and then they just tear. So the wire bound just keeps everything together really well. So that's what I've found in the past. So I've always ended up just using these. Then I got obviously a plain 
planner is a must have. This is something that I've always had throughout middle school and high school and definitely helped me a lot. Um, just making sure that I know what I need to do when I go home because if I don't write it down, I'll most likely forget. And so I like just simple daily monthly planners um, that kind of have a overview of the months or the month and then a weekly thing with enough space for you to write down um, different things you need to do and different assignments and all that but be able to kind of look it all over and just know from a glance what you need to do the day of and the next day forward so it really helps me kind of just make sure I get everything done and plan my time accordingly next is a pencil pouch I usually use like a makeup bag instead of a pencil pouch because the pencil pouches they have in stores aren't always the best looking thing so um, this one here is from Urban and it is a little big, it's actually my makeup bag. So sometimes um, I use just old makeup bags and stuff, but this one here is just like a mesh one I thought was really cute. They also have like a palm leaf one I might actually get because this is a little bit old and I like this for makeup. So just as an example, um, something like this will work. All my school supplies this year are like gray, black, and white just because I feel like it's so organized and just like simple in the past i've gotten like crazy patterns and colors but this year i've stuck to just simplicity and minimalism minimalism <laughs> minimalism so that way i just feel like cleaner and organized i don't know if that makes any sense so for actual um like supplies i got these mechanical pencils that come with 8.7 lead so that way i can just replace the lead and hopefully i can just keep these and use these throughout the year which I, has never happened before. I always end up losing them within the first week of school but hopefully I'll just keep these to myself and sometimes I do like to use pen. I just like the way um, it looks and the way the ink just goes easier than lead does. I don't know if that makes any sense but like when I'm taking notes I like to use pen but during assignments I like to use pencil so that way if I mess up it's not a big deal during notes, but in assignments, I want to be able to erase. So I like having pens and pencils. So these are just simple ballpoint pens. They're like, what, a dollar for a 10 pack. So that way I can get new packs if I need to, because I probably will end up losing these. But yeah, and then having some colored pens for notes. And these are marker pens, which I really like the way they write. So I got a six pack of these guys and they look really sleek in this case and then they just have like a gold case so a gold case did i really say gold silver <laughs> and then obviously if you need highlighters highlighters is um a really handy thing for some people for me personally i don't i haven't really used highlighters in the past all that much i like to use like colored pens like i was saying before so if you prefer one or the other obviously do what you want to do but Highlighter is also another useful thing if that's what you're into. Um, I find that having a little mini stapler is very helpful just to keep your papers together and that way you're not trying to find the teacher's stapler or borrow other people's staplers. You can just do it on your own and have it at hand at home too when you're just putting together a essay or notes or whatever. So these guys are really cheap and then the replacement staplers are really cheap as well. So it fits really easily into a pencil pouch but like I said, it's really useful. So that's basically it for the school supplies. Um, I don't really have all that much because over the years I've just learned what I need and what I don't need. The things that end up just sitting at the bottom of my backpack I don't touch. So I just avoid getting those these years or this year. So these are like the essentials that I have um decided that worked best for me so those are all the school supplies next are kind of purse essentials these are things that you would find in my day-to-day -day purse but i also want to include in this obviously because you're going to be spending the day at school so there are some things that are handy to have so i'll go ahead and show you guys that so first are my keys Oops. my keys obviously um so like my house key my car key all that but also the other Thing to have is pepper spray i got this off amazon i just feel safer knowing that i have this as a thing at hand if you happen to be walking around campus late at night by yourself or if you have garage parking or you're in a parking lot me personally i feel like i like having this at night in my garage here even at my apartment 
it's just a nice thing to have. I have it like in my hand ready to go. Um, it just makes me feel better and safer. So obviously it's very cheap. It's really just like it blends into my keys. It's not heavy at all. So that's just an option for you gals or guys out there that may feel a little safer knowing that you have this. So I thought I'd let you guys in on that thing. Um, next thing is breath mint or gum or both. So it's just nice to have a hand when you feel like you need some. would like to put a good amount just in case because I hate the feeling of not having gum when you need it. Honestly, it just changes your day. Like you don't want to talk to anyone. So it's nice to have a bulk supply at home so that way you can just refill um, your, your purse or backpack or whatever whenever you need to. The next thing is a perfume or a scented lotion. Um, a little mini perfume like this is the Scentbird one I featured in my July favorites and this is the Victor and Rolf um, guy in here so it's really easy to just slip in your purse or backpack and then if you don't want to use a perfume you can use obviously a lotion which can go both ways for moisturizing or like just smelling good. Next necessity is a lip balm and lip color. So I have the Nivea A Kiss of Olive Oil and Lemon. Um, this is a super duper moisturizing lip balm and then a lip color just so that way I can reapply during the day. So whatever lip color you happen to put on in the morning or something that will just go with anything is nice to have. I have the YSL in Rouge Veloup de Shine and i have used this for so long and i love it so just have these two at hand so that way you don't have that horrible feeling of chapped lips throughout the day which i hate i just i always need chapstick because i cannot stand having chapped lips next is a way to charge your phone so i have my charger cord right here a usb is nice to have a extra one in your bag so that way throughout the day if your phone is dying you can charge your phone and i do have a battery pack that is amazing i featured in other videos before it can like charge your phone six times over and it's just like this small i don't know where i put it i use it all the time but i think i left it at my mom's house so that kind of sucks but i bought it on amazon for like 20 bucks and it's amazing so i might have to buy it again if i can't find it because i'll need it but um i can also use my laptop to charge my phone too so if you don't have a battery pack, you can just use your laptop, but it's just really handy to have a battery pack and a charger with you. So that way, throughout the day, your phone doesn't die on you. And then lastly is a hand sanitizer. I like just having a hand sanitizer at hand just in case you can't wash your hands and you're going to eat or do something like that. Um, it's really helpful just so that way you are staying clean and also smells really good too. So it can freshen things up both antibacterially and scently <laughs> so my last thing actually is my wallet it's kind of a given so yeah but just figured i include that just has cash my cards driver's license student id all that jazz so definitely want to bring that with me wherever i am um yeah so that is basically it for all of my um what's in my backpack essentials i guess and so yeah, I really hope that you guys found it to be helpful. Let me know in the comments below if there are any certain back to school videos you want to see or any other video suggestions because I do read through those to make sure that I'm giving you guys videos you want. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out the description below for all the details of this video. And yeah, love you guys. Bye. Fire. Fire.